the, so remember we talked about Los India, like people coming over, crossing the Barren Strait, the Barren Strait from Siberia into what is now Alaska, coming down through North America into Central America, South America, and populating the whole region. And then they become Indians, Native Americans, okay? The native peoples, the indigenous peoples of the Americas. As soon as they cross over the Bering Strait, at that moment, obviously nobody named them back then, but that's the moment they become a different a category of those Indios, right? Then the Europeans come to the New World from Europe. So white Europeans, they come to the New World and they do their best at being gentle as what's his name thought that they were and then start the slave trade chattel slave trade and go to Africa and bring Africans over so here you have Indians in the Americas so in South America in particular you have Indians you have white people and you have black people so you have people really from all over the world because you have Asian blood coming this way you have African blood this way and you have European blood coming from there okay cool so it's an ethnic or a cultural category now, it gets really complex as to what it means and how we should talk and ident about people and identify Harrison, people. So, so I'm going to go around the class, and you're all going to do this as well. You can do it with your partners, okay? We're all going to do it. All these, these are all categories, and we talk about Latin America, and we talk about the south of the United States and the Western Hemisphere, south of the U.S. These are all the kinds of categories that we're using, okay? Anybody I find in the class who is from who is from or lives south of the United States, they're gonna identify in one or more of these with these characteristics, okay? Got it? And so what you have to do is, you two of you have to pick out what are the characteristics they would identify as and you have to do it really fast, okay? So, got it? All the things that they would identify. So if I pick out somebody who's from Ecuador, what are the ones that you could say about them that would be true? What could you call them? That still would be true, okay? They might say like, hey, I only use this one. We're not gonna go with country names. You can't use a country name. They, but you're gonna say, but still, these all would technically apply. Okay, what's your name? Rosie Beth. Say it again. Rosie Beth. Rosie Beth? Yeah. And where are you from? Uh, I, Turn right there. Where are you from? Where's your family from? Mexico. Mexico. Which ones apply to her? So which ones apply to her? Go ahead. Let me look at them. What do you think, bro? North American. North America? Okay, go ahead. What else? NASA, you know. I'm not going to tell you where it was just true or not. Okay, next one. What else? That's it? There's more than one. Um, there might be more than one. I guess she's South American, too. Okay, what else? <laughs> <laughs> what else, dude? So far, it's a you're, gray area, you're killing you know? it, dog. You are on your way to law school for sure. <laughs> what else, dude? No, wait, hang on. Go ahead. What else? I got two. No, go ahead. Look. That's all. You got two? All right, bro. By default, I'll say Hispanic. What else? Anything else? North American. What else? Yeah. Hispanic, else? too. Spanish. Yeah. Dude, you can't copy off him. <laughs> In law school, you would get kicked out for doing that. All right. Yeah, and Spanish. Spanish, Latin American. Is What did you say? North American. North American, Latin American. And Spanish. Hispanic. My dad's side's from Honduras, and my mom's side's Brazilian. Whoa! Mm -hmm. All right, <laughs> cool. Yeah. So Honduras. South America, Central America. Hispanic. Okay. Uh, Latin American, Hispanic, South American, and Central American. And probably one or two others. Uh, Look at her, dude. Look at her face, dude. How about that? Um, yeah, that's all I got. Blanquita, hombre. Blanquita. Gringa. Pura gringa. She's white, too, right? Wait. Yeah, white, too. Yeah, okay, cool. Somebody else? I'm Peruvian. Peruvian. All right, Harrison, you're on, dog. S South American, Latin American, Hispanic, um, white a little bit. <laughs> Yikes. I, it's far away. I don't know. 
Yeah, all right, go ahead, bro. Uh, Central America. <laughs> and, a and Hispanic. There's something else that's mixed in there, I don't know. Yeah, dude, there is something else, my friend. Um, I'm Jamaican and Indian. Caribbean and... <coughs> yeah, I'll stick with Caribbean. I'm black. <laughs> Bro? Caribbean. Uh, can you repeat it one more time? Can you repeat Jamaican and Indian. All right, it's so like, West Indian. Yeah. Um, yeah, those are... You could throw Hispanic in there, too, I'm sure. Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Throw <laughs> Hispanic in there. Why, why not? Dude, I wouldn't, though, if I were you. But you, might, you could, but I wouldn't. I'm from Venezuela. What is that? Venezuela. Venezuelan. South America. Dude. South America. <laughs> I love how you do that. You're like, South America, man. <laughs> All right. Bro? South America. Yeah, okay. And Hispanic. And what? Spanish. All right. All right, man. Let's walk, let's walk down this real fast. Let me help you out. Okay, so listen. You got this. NAFTA, bro. You nailed that. Okay, so Mexico's part of North America. So when we say Called it. North America, she's North American. That's one thing. Latin America is all of Latin America. Sometimes that includes the Caribbean. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes you see Latin American on one line and you'll see the Caribbean on the other line. Sometimes it's Latin American and the Caribbean. Sometimes it's just Latin American. And if that's the case, it always also means the Caribbean. Okay? Hispanic is any people whose native, whose original ancestors derive from Spain, meaning speak Spanish. So does that include Brazil? No. Bro? Bro, does that include Brazil? What? Is, are Brazil Hispanics? Brazilians Hispanics? No, but some speak Spanish. Dude, some do speak Spanish, indeed, right? But they speak Portuguese there, right? So, okay. No. So, Brazil is, not, is Latin American. Brazilians are Latin American, but they're not Hispanic. West Indian is the name of this whole region right here, the Caribbean, where it was given to the Caribbean by, after, by Columbus. So Columbus sailed this way, think, seeking a road to India. And so they just called this the West Indies. The Spanish and the French started calling this whole region the West Indies, meaning that Columbus first landed right here on Hispaniola, and so they become West Indians. But there's the, the Greater Antilles, the Lesser Antilles, and then Hispaniola. So, there, so Hispaniola is part of Haiti, the Dominican Republic, and Puerto Rico, okay? Caribbean is this whole region here. Afro-Caribbean are black people in this region. So most of these countries here, I'm just walking us through, were slave countries. So all the countries in the Caribbean, like the, D, the Dominican Republic, Haiti, and so on, and Cuba, and, and part of Puerto Rico. And so you have lots of Afro-Caribbean people who may or may not be derived from the Spanish, right? White so you have all the white blood. So who's like, who is white here? Who's like Latina and white? So like that dude right there. So he's, he clearly is going to be white, right? But he's also going to be, so black is so you could be, if you're Afro-Caribbean, you're also going to be black, right? Indian, meaning that you derive your ancestry. The young, the young woman up there at the top from Peru. See, if you can see, if, you, if I brought her down, you can see her features. She has Indian features. So she definitely has um, Indian blood, for sure, right? So she would be Indian. Not, not West Indian, because she's in Peru. West India, or per Peru right here. West India would be up here, but she's Indian. North American, so we already talked about that. Central America is right here, right? It stops at, at Colombia and, and Venezuela, and it stops at Mexico. South America is everywhere starting in Colombia on down. Spanish would be, sometimes we wrongly refer to people in Latin America as being Spanish, but they're not Spanish, technically speaking, but sometimes we do, Espanoles. And then Creole, mostly Creole means mix. Like it's a French word that we start using to mean mix. And so we talk about Haitians because Haitian is a former France colony, French colony. And so we talk about that, at lots, lots of Creoles, like she's part Creole. But that's how you break that thing down. So lots of people, so she, for example, you're, you got white blood, like here, stand, can you stand up really fast? So she's Mexican, right? So here, so she's North American. She's Latin, you speak Spanish? Yeah. She's Latin American. She's Hispanic. She is white because she clearly has white blood, but she also probably, she has Indian blood for sure, and she might have some black blood, but probably not because she's Mexican and there weren't many black people in Mexico. She's North American, and that's it. 
Cool, so you're like six different things. And this is how this stuff gets really complicated, right? Are we cool? Jamaicans don't speak Spanish in Jamaican, so they're not Hispanics at all. But they're West Indian, they're Caribbean, they're Afro-Caribbean. If you're Jamaican, you're almost certainly going to be Afro-Caribbean. You're going to be black. You're going to have Indian blood. You're going to be et cetera, et cetera. Is that cool? Mm -hmm.